You know, with, with scripts, the, the, the question that I get asked most often, and I think most actors get asked most often, is, how do you remember all those lines? And I'm always like, well, you don't try to remember all the lines. You, you look at what's on the text. First, you read it and you try to understand it. You read it again. Me, I read it after a run when my endorphins are flying. I read it late Saturday night when I've got a good buzz going. I read it when I'm feeling, uh, um, you know, right after church, when I'm feeling in a very forgiving mood. I'll read it when I'm mad, sad, glad, tired, happy, excited. In many different places where I am personally, I'll read a script and I'll have, that means I'll have a different look at the same scenes because I'm in a different place. And um, I gather all that for weeks, if not months, before I start really locking into making decisions on what my character would or wouldn't do, on truths of my man, as I call it. Um, and, you, and you have to watch in a script not to grab a hold of things that you want to take literally too early um, because you don't want to get bound to anything. You want to stay loose. Well, over and over through repetition, you know the script. You know what it's about. It's not about knowing the lines. What's the scene about? What, are, what, are, what does the character want out of this scene? What's the obstacle in front of this character to get what he wants? What does the character need in the scene? Uh, and then overall, what's happening in the scene? So if you do it over and over, it's never about memorizing the lines. It's understanding what the hell you're saying and what you mean and what you're trying to get and what you, what you, what you need, why you're having trouble getting it. How are you going to get past that obstacle to get what you need? That You do that enough, the lines on the day are like Eli Kazan says, they're fringe on the carpet. I mean, it's, it's, they're just words. And uh, you know that, that's the difference from writing and acting. The actor brings a bloodline to the role. It's as much about what we don't say as what we do. If, you can, if I can pull off a paragraph, the meaning of a paragraph, with one look, go with a look. Not the words. And so, it's, I always say it's not about memorizing the lines. You don't think about memorizing the lines at all. Um, I write a lot. I break down the scripts and scenes. I'll have, most of my scenes, I'll have a version that's eight times longer than the scene because I've rewritten it so many times in so many ways. I may not say anything that I rewrote, but everything I wrote tells me more, informs me more on what was on the page. 